Good morning and welcome to Monday Mornings with Maria. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I know yesterday we had an amazing uh, service with water baptisms and then Pastor Ron's part four of the identity crisis which talked about our nation and um, and one thing that really stuck out as we, uh, as Pastor ended his um, his message, was about revival. That revival starts within us. Amen. So let's make that our uh, the challenge for the day, for the week. As he uh, also mentioned about fasting and praying next week through the week of prayer encounter. So let's be prayerful about those things. Amen. See how God leads you and guides you. But that revival starts within our hearts. Amen. So we continue in Psalms chapter 19. And we're in verses 3 and 4a. Just the beginning of verse 4. So let me go ahead and read verses 1 and 2. Which says, The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display his craftsmanship. Day after day they continue to speak. Night after night, they make him known. In our verses for the day, they speak without a sound or word. Their voice is never heard. Yet their message has gone throughout the earth and their words to all the world. So verse three, they speak without a sound or word and their voice is never heard. But yet in verse 2, it tells us that day in and day out and night after night, that they are continuously speaking and they're making him known to us. As the heavens are declaring and proclaiming God's glory, his majesty and his creation, his craftsmanship that we can see. But yet it says that they, they speak without a sound or word and their voice is never heard. So creation is like a book of pictures without words because the heavens the heavens speak in a universal language that is understood by all amen so when people go out and see God's creation like I've shared before they are in awe of it because they know that it wasn't just you know by chance that all of a sudden creation appeared no no but people on every continent and every island can read can read creation's message and conclude that there is a wise, eternal, powerful, and benevolent God behind it all. Amen? Verse 4. Yet their message has gone throughout the earth and their words to all the all of the world. The message has gone out. So usually we hear a message, but not here, but not here. It's silent. It's silent. The heavens and the sky carry their message of God's glory. Amen. They carry it throughout the earth. The Apostle Paul quoted this in, in his statement in Romans 10.18. So Romans 10.18, Paul is quoting Psalms 19.3 and 4. And says, but I ask, have the people of Israel actually heard the message? Yes, they have. The message has gone through, excuse me, the message has gone throughout the earth and the world and the words to all the world. By doing so, he noted that the message about God's delivered, the message about God delivered by nature, excuse me, precedes the message of the gospel and made the Gentiles and the Jews inexcusable. And it, all, and it all goes back to Romans 1 verses 19 and 20, where it says they know the truth about God because he made it obvious to them. For, for ever since the, word, the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. And that's exactly the message that they're proclaiming, that the glory of God, that his majesty can be seen, that there is no doubt 
that God is the creator of the creation and all people can see, even if they haven't heard the good news of Jesus Christ, they can still see by the, cre the creation that God, the creator created it all. And so therefore man has no excuse when they can, when they will say, well, I didn't know, but yet, yes, they did because, because creation is speaking day in and day out. Night after night, it says they make him known. They make him, our heavenly father, God the father, the creator of heaven and earth. They make him known. They declare his glory. They show his majesty, his power, his love for all through his creation. Through his creation. So they speak without a sound or a word and their voice is never heard because his creation is speaking for him. Yet their message has gone throughout the earth and the word to all the world, amen? So let us, as his creation, let us proclaim his message, amen? Let us boldly share, let us boldly share the message throughout the earth, their words to all the world. Let it begin with us. Let revival begin with us. And as it begins with us, as God's Holy Spirit pours into us, that we may be that, like the rivers of living water, let it flow from within us, out of us, and onto others. That revival will start, but it begins with us. Amen? So let us take that message and spread his glory. L let us point everyone to God, the creator of heaven and earth. Let us point them to the kingdom of God. Amen. That no man has any excuse because the word of God has told us. He speaks to us. Amen. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you, we praise you, and we glorify you. And we thank you. We continually thank you for allowing us to see, to participate in your majesty, your glory, your presence, your love for us. And I pray that Holy Spirit, that you empower us and enable us and bless us with the boldness, with the courage to be able to share <clears throat> your glory, your word, your message of salvation, the good news of Jesus Christ. Throughout all that we meet, to whomever we meet, beginning within ourselves, at home within our families, at our jobs, at schools, wherever we go, I lift up my brothers and sisters to you, Lord God. Holy Spirit, empower them, enable them, strengthen them, Bless them with boldness and courage to speak out your words, to share your love, to spread your good news. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that you allow us to bask in your glory, to spend time in your presence. So I pray that you bless your sons and daughters meet their needs, bless their families, their finances, their marriages, their health. We thank you, Lord, because you are a good, good father. And we are so grateful and thankful for all that you do for each and every one of us. To God be the glory forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, So this week we have our, we continue with our study in Mark on Wednesday night in chapter 11. You won't want to miss it. And then next week is our three-day prayer encounter. So um, have a safe 4th of July and, uh, and we'll see you. We'll see you on Wednesday. God bless you. Bye-bye.